Adding in repeater custom fields is really simple when you use the advanced custom fields plugin and there are other plugins out there. But what if I told you there is a hidden secret way that's always been within WordPress that you can utilize for free. I'm going to show you how to do that repeater custom field. And it's not just repeater. You could use it for standard custom fields as well. And guess what? With a free simple code snippet, I'm also going to show you how you can add a repeater field onto your WordPress post or your Elementor post as well. This is completely free and easy. I'm super excited about this because this is a little bit of a game changer for a long, long time. I've been trying to find a way to get repeater fields into WordPress without relying on third party plugins, especially anywhere you got to pay a bit of a premium. And the fact that you can now do all of this is super pumped me up. We are in a standard WordPress website. This has got Elementor on here, but what I'm going to show you is pure WordPress and you can do with any page builder, theme builder, or anything that uses WordPress. We're going to go over to post and I'm going to go into this post by clicking edit. Now you can do this on a brand new post or an existing post. It doesn't really make a difference because the process is exactly the same. Over here in the top right, we can see the three dots. Can you see that? You click that and you're going to see stuff here that you've probably paid a bit of attention to. or You're probably completely ignored. The most important step is this one down here, which is preferences. Go and click that. And again, you're going to go, well, yep. Yeah, so what? You've never really bothered with this. But this is the thing that we've overlooked down here. We have general. We have blocks, but it's the panels. Can you see what happens when I go to panels? It says custom fields. What the heck? Go and activate it and then do show and reload page. When you're on your standard, you know, your WordPress, when you're creating your post, you will now have additional fields. I have not got any advanced custom fields, pods, meta boxes, nothing like that installed on here. This is all pure WordPress. Now, when you go to the part that says custom field, you're going to notice it says elemental font face and elemental font files because I've got elemental loaded. Now, I will let you know that if you go and install rank math, you will see lots of entries for rank math in it, but I'm going to show you how you can reduce the amount of items you see here. I'll show you that right at the end. But when you're starting off brand new, you're not going to see a lot in here. And the great thing is it allows you to enter new. So I'm going to create a brand new custom field. We click enter new. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it location. And then over here, I'm going to pop in a value. Let's go for London. And then I click add custom field. That is my custom field created and it's now present within here. But what if I want to reuse that another field in another post? Dead easy. Just make sure you've hit update. I'm now going to add a brand new post down here. Location is present because I've added it in. Let's go and hit location typed in New York. Let's go and hit publish. I'm literally adding in a custom field. But what if I now want to add a repeater field? So let's say new post number one wasn't just one location. It was multiple locations. Watch this. You're going to go in here, edit. We've already got location for London. I'm now going to go here and click location again. And now I'm going to add in another location and I've added in Paris and then I've hit update. So on every single post, I can keep using the field I've already added. But if I want it to be a repeater, let's say there were now five locations, you would just go in and just add in another field. So you go add custom field and then I would go and do another one. If you accidentally go in here update and then you realize, oh, I've got a blank location there, just go and delete it out. That is how simple it was to create a custom field and convert it to be used as a repeat field. Now, don't get me wrong. There are plugins out there that are much more nicer and easier to use. For instance, what if you wanted to stick in an image? Well, what you do is you'd go in here, enter new, give it a title and over here you would paste the you URL for your image. So go to your media library, get the URL for it, stick that in. That will now be your image. To be honest, this process I prefer to use for text or numbers or items like that. And I would say if you're going to start doing it for a gallery or anything like that, you're better off using a third party plugin. So this is all brilliant. But how do we show this on, say, an elemental single post template? I'm going to show you how you would do it with a simple field. And then we're going to do it with the repeater field because the simple field is really, really simple. But when you want to do the repeater field, you're going to have to use a code snippet. And it's a really simple code snippet that I'm going to show you for free. First, let's go and tackle how you would add a simple field. So we've got a brand new page with Elemental, and this could be a single post template or anywhere where you're going to drop in a loop grid like what I've done here. And then we're going to create a template. This is going to be pretty simple. I'm not going to do anything fantastical here. We're just going to drop in a title. And then underneath that, I'm going to drop in a heading widget staying on the heading for where you would normally enter in your title. Go and hit the little symbol here for dynamic tags. This is where you would go if you were going to pull through dynamic fields from other third party plugins. 
what you're going to do is pick the post custom field. And normally it will look like that and you go and hit the spanner and wrench. And this is where you now select location. That's the custom field that we pulled through. So if we were using it as a single custom field, maybe we've got one for color, maybe we've got one for size or whatever, you just go and pick it. Now I will let you know if the very first time you use this and you go to the key and it doesn't have any options, just go and update the page, refresh the page and it will then be pulled through. Okay, so don't worry about that. But there we have location and look at it. It's gone and brought through New York. Now I hit update. We've got New York and London. The custom fields are feeding through. But again, that's pretty simple. Okay, but notice new post one. We added in a repeater location. Remember, we had London and we had Paris. So how do we get both of them to show with a free code snippet? If you've not got this bad boy installed on your WordPress website, you're missing a trick. Go and get it installed and then go and click add new snippet. Give it a title and then paste in this code that you can find in the video description. Now this code is actually split into two because I'm giving you two ways of displaying your repeater field. The first version over here, and you can notice it's using the location field and it does turn it into a plural. So if you've gone and created a field called city, make sure you go and put in the plural for city. If you're going to have a field called cat, make sure you have a plural for cats. You don't have to create that, just make sure you do it within the snippet. And you can easily stick this into chat GPT if you get a bit unstuck. This first part of the code returns your values with comma separated. The second bit of code down here, and I am going to show you this, actually returns it as a list instead. So I'm first going to show you how this is going to work when we do comma separated. The key thing, though, is this value over here, display locations. We're going to create a short code. We're going to drop it in and that is now going to return our values for us. Let's just go and hit save changes and activate. We're back on our page. Now I'm going to leave this intact and what I'm going to do is add in a short code like this and drop it in below just so we can see the different versions. I'm now going to go and add in my short code with obviously the square bracket like that. Like I haven't even hit update. It's already brought back the word New York. Now don't worry about the styling. We're going to modify that in a moment, but let's just see how it works. Can you see what I see. We got New York, we got London and Paris. The repeat of fields are coming through, comma separated. Yeah, and I know you're going to say I really hate the style of that. OK, let's go to edit template. Let's go back over to the short code. Let's go down to custom CSS. Now I'm going to drop in a bit of code for you. This will also be available within the video description. So now on top of the short code, you can go and make sure it's got the right font family, the size, your weight, your line height. If you want to do letter spacing, or word spacing it's all there for you now this extra bit of code down here is only relevant when we do the list so now let's go and use the list version of that snippet i'm going to comment out the top bit and we're now going to use the other version just hit save changes when i return back to my page it's now giving it to me as a list maybe you wanted it as a list but you didn't want to have like the circles there or the bullets and you wanted it to all be left aligned the CSS code is there for you. See, it's right there. Let's go and make this all active. When you activate this part of the code now at the bottom that was previously commented out, padding left zero, look, it's gone over and list style type is none. If you want to change that to be something else like square or whatever you can do, just make sure you then adjust the padding left to push it over to the right hand side. I'm going to leave it as none. So can you see what we've done there? We've pulled through a simple custom field and if you've got it as a repeater field, it will work. And it doesn't matter if you've only got one entry there. It brought over New York, it brought over London and Paris. Am I crazy or just plain wrong for getting excited with how you can now add in your custom fields and repeater fields into WordPress? However, there is a danger that if you've got rank math and lots of other plugins, regardless of whether you've installed, used, deactivated, uninstalled, deleted, whatever, when you come over to add in a custom field, you might have a massive list. And there's items on here that I built during some of my tutorials that I no longer use and I got rid of them a long time ago. In fact, there's stuff on here from some plugins that I was testing out months ago. Why are they still here? This is the problem with WordPress where it kind of remembers a lot of the meta fields or meta boxes. So how can you reduce the amount of items you see here? Because this could be really problematic. What you want to use is a plugin called Edit Custom Fields. And yeah, I know there's a warning there, but believe me, I've used this, tested it out, and it's completely fine. Of course, everything I'm saying to you today, make sure you do on a testing website or you've gone and got a backup. 
Once you've got this installed, you go over to tool, go over to edit custom fields. And what it's going to do is now show you all of the meta fields that are coming through. And even though some of them say they're being used, they're not really being used. These were present within an old version of a post that I no longer have anymore. So if I was to go and tick, say these two here, I want to get rid of them. I don't want them visible in my list. It will now show me the post that they were present on Iron Man. This is months and months ago. So I can go, yeah, definitely delete them. So when I go over to my custom field list, two of those entries have now disappeared. You only need to worry about that if you've been using your website a lot with installing and using plugins and stuff a lot. So if you want to just get rid of some of the fields that are no longer needed, but really simplistically, this is probably one of the cleanest and simplest ways of adding in custom fields and repeat of fields and showing them on your single post template completely for free. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. And I would love to hear your comments all about this. Do you like? Do you dislike? What's your thoughts and feelings? Take care. See you soon. Never break. Always fight. Never quit.